Iowa may have been the first contest the candidates faced, but since 1920, the first primary election has been right here in New Hampshire. And just like last week's caucus, independent voters tonight will play a key role. About 45 percent of the registered voters in New Hampshire are independents. But an election expert at the University of New Hampshire, Dante Scala, says the two states are politically different. New Hampshire Republicans are more socially moderate. The Democrats are progressive but more fiscally conservative. To win here, a candidate needs to appeal to voters across party lines. Professor Scala says that's what makes the New Hampshire primary a good barometer of what will happen in the national election. He may be on to something. Only two candidates have lost this primary and still won the White House, Bill Clinton and George W. Bush. That's a page from my notebook from Bedford, New Hampshire. I'm Katie Couric, CBS News.